<laughs> yeah. Yeah. I haven't had a copyright infringement for a while, so what better than Hotel California when we're staying here at the Contentwood Campground, Brannon Island State Recreation Area, about 40 minutes north of Tracy, California, probably about 25, 30 minutes west of Stockton, California. That's right, I got this sweet tent set up. It's providing me a minimal amount of shade considering the sun's way over there and the shade is way down over here. But anyways, this has really been a super sweet addition to my van, especially when I'm camping. It opens up a whole new area. And last night, of course, I got the brilliant idea, because why wouldn't you? I need to get lights to go around, right? Why would you not have lights all the way around here? So at night, that just extends it. And if I really want to get crazy, I could put sidewalls on here. And then I really would have like my own area. I could put a area rug, you know, a couch, a bidet, you know, standard living room items. Had a little problem here with my butane burner. I was putting it away after making coffee and uh, the gas was leaking, shooting everywhere. So I threw it out here on the grass. So I think it's okay. I think it was just sitting at like a cattywampus cockeyed angle. Today, what am I getting into? I have no idea, no plans at all. Only plan was to come out here and camp and that has been accomplished successfully. After this point in the day, I have no clue what I'm doing. I'm gonna go drive around a little bit, check out like Byron has like a cool little old town area. Check out some of the little towns around here maybe and cruise around a little bit this morning. And then yeah, your guess is as good as mine. Last time I had no clue where I was going. I ended up doing a gigantic loop from Sacramento through Tahoe, Mammoth, Mono, like, if you've been watching, you saw that last week's videos. That was a crazy adventure that I never even planned to get on at all. Whatsoever. So, not that I'm going to take a shower today because I don't really care. <laughs> Pretty clean as it is. Haven't done much. But over here, they got a bathroom facility. And supposedly, they're showers. Um, they said they were uh, quarter operated and that... It was 50 cents for, what did they say, five minutes? That's pretty good, but I've yet to discover where these showers are. I've been in the bathrooms, which are pretty nice, actually, for a campground area. Let's see. Showers for registered campers only, but it's locked. Maybe you have to go down to the other one. There's another uh, bathroom facility just down yonder over that way. So, who knows? They got a nice little sink area out here. All in all, a really cool campground. A lot of open grass area. You're not posted up with somebody living right up your butt. I like that. It was very quiet last night. Um, they're still at like partial capacity at a lot of these campsites, but even all the spots they have open aren't filled up yet. So it's pretty good. I'd say they're probably at about 50%, 65% capacity. Ooh, look at that. Got me a nice little setup over there, don't I? It's expanding, constantly evolving, such is life. All right, I gotta clean up my bit of a mess here. Think about getting on with my day. On my way out of the campground here, I just wanna roll by the other bathroom and check out the shower situation. Supposedly there's showers over here, and I think they're probably open. Mosey on over and check it out real quick.
1878 at this location in 1878. That's a bit redundant. Uh, railroad station was established for the San Pablo and Tulare Railroad, which ran from Los Baños to Martinez, later to become part of the Southern Pacific Railway for the purpose of taking on water and became known as the Byron. What's that mean? This township was famous for shipping more hay than any other station in California at the turn of the century. <laughs> Quite a claim to fame, apparently. Dedicated to the early pioneers and settlers of this community. <laughs> this is super cool. I had no idea this was here. I was just cruising by on the Byron Highway, coming through Byron, and right out of the corner of my right eye, I spotted the telltale Coppola of Southern Pacific caboose car right here at the original location of the town of Byron. And I don't know, you can kind of see inside here a little bit, I think pretty cool <laughs> How cool is this place? Another train. I'm just having a trainy kind of day, isn't it? In Tracy here at Dr. Powers Park. Now, why is there a train at Dr. Powers Park and who is Dr. Powers? Those are both very good questions to which I have half answers and semi-truths to. I'm sure of it. Dr. Powers was, get this, he was a doctor. <laughs> he used to be up in Rio Vista in the Delta where I just came from. He came down here to Tracy, turn of the century. He set up a practice here and he was the primary doctor, surgeon as it were, fancy pants, for the Southern Pacific Railroad based out of here in Tracy, California. Now, this is also interesting because uh, somewhere around 1919, I think, he set up an official practice on the second floor of the original Bank of Tracy building, which happens to be right here. I'm at a crossroads yet again. I'm here sitting up at a park and ride in Tracy next to the transit station by the old downtown area after doing a little bit of a local history dive about Dr. Powers. It's kind of cool little information. I really didn't know it. Had to look all that information up, but I always wondered, you know, you see a park, it's named after somebody. Well, who is that person? What did they do to deserve a park being named after them? Let alone having a locomotive donated to it to sit in the park named after some guy. So <laughs> I thought that was kind of a cool little bit of history. Even I didn't really know about until today. But I'm here in Tracy and I don't know which direction I want to head. Where do I want to go? To the west? Bay Area? Doesn't really excite me too much. You know, in a normal world, I would love to go to Santa Cruz right now. But the last time I visited Santa Cruz, it was sketchy, say the least. <laughs> um, 
I mean, they got like a FEMA camp set up over there for all the displaced people. And I don't really want to go too far north because I'm pretty sure I'll be uh, ending up around the Easter holiday time back in Clovis with the old parents and, uh, you know, doing a little ham dinner or something like that. So I guess that leaves me with two options heading east, which if I keep going east from here, we're up in the Sierras, up around Sonora, Yosemite. I've already done Yosemite a couple times. I'm good for now. I'm gonna wait for the snow to abate, springtime to really get into full effect before I head over there again. So maybe heading south, but what's south? From here, Interstate 5, cutting through the center of the state, at any point, I can head west to the Central Coast, but let you in on a little secret. I already got a little trip planned uh, in a couple weekends going back to the Central Coast, so I don't want to get into that too much. And I've really just talked myself back around to having no clue where I'm going again. <laughs> but it is what it is. I'll figure it out. I'm going to head in some direction here shortly. And I might not give too much thought to it. I'm just probably going to just start driving some direction, either east or south. I decided to head both east and then south. Went over to Modesto on the 120 and then cut down south on the 99. Pulled over here at a Loves I've parked next to before. It's not technically in the Loves. It's adjacent to actually a Loves like RV storage center. And the trucks park right here on here. There's Nothing doing over here, just an empty lot next to me. And I think I'm going to stay here for the night. It's getting past 6 p.m. and the sun's starting to go down. And I think I've done enough for today. I'm going to make my way toward the greater Fresno area tomorrow. And there's a few things I've had on the kind of back of my mind itching away at me that I would like to explore a little bit. So I'm going to do that. That's what I'm doing. That's all I'm saying. That's that, this, this. Who's who, what's what, you're you, I'm me. Ha <laughs> ha.